How much do you reckon it costs a year to run a car like this? Hi guys, and welcome back, and welcome to another video where you join me in, oh yes, it is back. We are in my Lamborghini Huracan, and I'm just about to depart on what is gonna be a seriously fun day ahead. The weather is amazing, so after this has returned from its service, it is the perfect excuse to take it out and about and drive it properly. And in my last video, what I said to you guys is that I wanna drive it and show you the differences. Now it's had its full service. So what we're doing is we're driving out of London for this. And a man who is turning up as well is Tony. He is in his Lamborghini Performante. And Tom, he is in his Aston Martin Vantage. So we're all gonna just enjoy it and enjoy the weather. It's rare, it's sunny now, but it is. Hold start. Here we go, people! But here we go. Let's go find the boys and make some noise. Look who's here. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. How are we? We're here again. We're here again. How are you? Very good. How are you? Yep, yeah, I've got a nicely serviced Lamborghini. How's life been? Very good. How's your life been? It's still rich? Oh, you've had a good few years, I think. Yeah, I haven't. That's the, that's the art of being wealthy. It's not been only one good year, you've got to keep doing it every year. Right, we have just pulled up. Hello. Hello, again. Hello. I'm on. You're, we're live. No, not the yet. End. You can do it at the end. Okay, fine. Not you're, yet? No, I'll, come, I'll find you at the end and we'll do it again. Yeah, and I can do the outro. Yeah, do you want to do that? I can do that now. Yeah. He's back! Back. Where have you been? Well, I've been trying to earn some money, boy. Yeah. Pay for my depreciation on all my cars. This one. No, that, but that. We are going to talk about these. We're going to. What we are going to do in this video? We are going for a nice drive together. But we're going to talk <laughs> for a nice drive. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> Got a picnic with you, every boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to talk all things costings and how much it actually costs to own one of these cars and run it and everything else. Um, but are we, we were to talk are, are we going to be really honest or, or, or are we going to... This is an honest channel, so be honest. Okay, fine. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it, honesty. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about monthly payments, we'll talk about insurance, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about tax, we'll yeah. talk about everything. Yeah. But it's all to come in this video. But one thing which does look very, very good is those two parked up together. Yeah. And when you see them on the road, we were just talking about this. When we, we were talking about the road, this. Yeah. You don't really know the difference. But it's only when you put them side by side, you then know the difference. You can just tell the little tweaks. All right, so I've just had to cut what you just said. Just cut. Finished. <laughs> right, but as we can see here, both of them parked up together. Would you be able to tell the difference if you weren't sort of, you know, you know, you? The car man. Yeah. Um, what, show me what you were just showing with the front of the car. So if you look, you know I mean, God, look Come then. carefully. Look, Come then. Look at the front bumpers are completely different. So these have got two. They've got two, so that that's more aerodynamic. And, and it's more aerodynamic. And that just is not aerodynamic in the slightest. No, because it's just got a big grill mesh in the front of it. Yeah. That's not what it's for. It's a, it's a, it's a road car. It's not that's a track car. It's a road car. Yeah, this is a this this is a, that is a track car. That is one thing which does attract me to one of these very much. Is that that round a track and we know it's good. We know it's We've good. done it. We're going to go on the round the track and that soon as well. Again. Yep. yep. Coming yep. up. Yep. Coming soon. Coming soon. A few weeks time. We're going to go few, around the track. A few weeks time. I think we're going to do Donington in the Porsche though. Oh okay. We'll take it out soon. We'll um, take it out soon. We will take it out soon. And then that'll really pull on your heartstrings. Oh, I know. Because <laughs> right, it is good. But, okay, after the service, it is back. And you now know this is a very, very nice car. It will be a different car. So tell me your opinion on this now, please. And be nice. Because I think you will be nice about this now. Well, no, no, because my visual opinion hasn't changed. Yeah. It's terrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> My visual opinion hasn't changed. Yeah. I, I, it's very nice. <laughs> uh, but you, you're telling me it drives so much better now. Yeah, it does. It's like a new car for me. Apparently, some people say they're R8s. But... Well, then, so is yours then? No, that's what they say. That's what they say. I don't agree with them because they're not R8s, but that's what people say. No. Just an R8. No. So do that again? No, just an R8. <laughs> I'm going to walk to the back here because I want to show that my car, how much better it looks than yours. Um, stupid. What? Look. I've got a nice diffuser here. A very nice carbon fibre diffuser. Okay, get in the comments, ladies and gents. Yeah. What's, what's better, this 
all that. Don't worry about the tape price, just looks. What looks better? But we will talk about costs and everything else, but we're gonna do that, because what we're going off for a nice drive today. We're going for a nice drive to picnic. Get some fuel in here very, very shortly. Um, we have Mr. Tom Turner's, uh, yeah, his lovely GT3, which uh, we do like. And uh, we also have Mr. John Modbull is here in his Aston Martin, um, which uh, I love that. I think that's just, yeah, look at it. It's, uh, it's a cool bit of kit, let's be honest. But Tom's Aston is over here and uh, it's out and about. First time I've actually seen it out and about and it is awesome. Look at it, it is very cool. I like it. I know, you I do like, like it. Don't sell that. No, I'm not going to. We're going to drive to Le Mans it. it's here. Many things are going to be sold, but not this one. No, don't. don't. <laughs> right, and here we go. <laughs> Listen to that! Oh, I'm the happiest guy alive. This car feels so much better after the service which has happened. I know I've spoken about it, but it drives like a totally different car. It really does. And it's, it's like brand new, honestly. But the first thing I noticed when I jumped in was, oh my God, the suspension, the drive on it now is just so smooth. And it's just like effortless. And even the steering's even lighter, like gives you really nice feedback. Um, the gearbox, the gear shifts are much better. The brakes, when you get on the brakes, they're much better. It honestly has made me fall in love with this car all over again, it really has. Because a lot of people watch the video of me when I was talking about the service, talking about just how much this cost me, and a lot of people actually gave me negative comments because I don't think people understood that the bill that this car had in the service was 25, roughly, I came out to 25,000 pounds. But I only had to pay, well not only, I had to pay 2,900 um, because the car was covered under warranty. But it was a roughly 25,000 pound bill with the change of the shocks, with the change of the, the front water leak, with the change of so much, with the, everything that had the 25 hours of work. It basically was that much. One thing which is sorted and what I got fixed yesterday is my windscreen. This is all covered under my insurance policy, which is, is good because a Lamborghini windscreen is not the same price as a normal windscreen. Um, the rough cost for the windscreen would have been £2,600. <laughs> no other you have the vented sort of rear sort of part on it you have blind spots you, you can't see much out of them but it is such an experience it's that badge right there which determines the whole driving experience I've driven so many supercars there's something about when you jump in a Lamborghini it's just different even when you start it up even when you just play with buttons it's the experience. Well, I've just arrived at a Ferrari dealership and I had an absolutely amazing drive in my Lamborghini Huracan. It really was an amazing first time since it's all been serviced and looked after. Um, it really was just a different kind of experience. It was just special in its own little right. It, close to my heart, shall we say. But Tony's parked up, so he's here. I'm last to get here, classic. Um, and my GoPro fell off uh, on the way here. So that's what I've actually been doing. This Hurricane Performante in the uh, sort of like Miami blue color, which is, uh, for me, that is a very nice spec. It really is. Uh, with my sort of personal favorite wheels, uh, with that blue, that blue stunning. They, that looks good on Porsches, looks good on Lamborghinis. Uh, black with that, that is, uh, that's just a cool car. Oh yes, I've come across this, and we know 
that I used to own an Audi R8. And here we have a blacked out one, 65 plate. They still look so good, don't they? Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. Look at it. Oh yes, that is just a bit of me. I loved owning this car. I really, really did. It was such a good car to own. Um, and seeing it again like this, they just still are so good. Honestly, you can pick up an Audi R8 V10 Plus these days for something like 85 grand, maybe even less. They're coming down, they've come down a lot. 85 grand for the same engine, the same gearbox as my Hurricane. That's unreal, isn't it? Uh, and I don't think they're gonna go any further than that. We were a little bit worried, obviously, when they came down, you're sort of thinking, how far are they gonna go? Uh, because I bought my car for something like 112,000, and now they're 85,000. Um, but how much further are they gonna fall? I think that will be about it. This one obviously has got the carbon fiber diffuser and the sort of rear wing as well. The V10 Plus, that's how they come. They come like that. And they also, this one has the carbon fiber side blades just here. They don't all come with that. That is an added option to option the carbon side blades along with the reversing camera. And that sounds totally mad because my car didn't have a reversing camera. And that's something, if you didn't know, you know now. Um, so you've got to spec that as well. There's lots of different things, but I think that is full spec. It looks very, very good and uh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing value for money. Not out of place here alongside all these other cars. There we go, there we go, very nice. 239 grand, oh, GT. Lusso, Lusso, Lusso. You are cool. Right, so we're joined in uh, Mr. Tony's Lamborghini Performante. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome okay. in. Welcome in. Um, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how much this costs to own Lamborghinis. How much does it cost then for you? This car. So the car, let's talk about how much the car costs. The car costs you how much? 245,000. Right. Which is financed. Correct. You put in a certain deposit. Big deposit. And your monthly payments are roughly two grand. Two grand a month. Roughly. So two grand a month comes out of your account every month to have the pleasure of driving this. Correct. How much does it cost you to fuel it up? Limited to five thousand miles a year as well. On your finance. Correct. Okay, so well if finance. you're doing more than five thousand you're your your chaos. Like literally. So you're limited to a certain amount. So okay. this car's just over a year old now and it's done four and a half thousand miles. So I'm within the mileage, which is good. Okay, which is good. Yeah. Um, your insurance a year, you're probably on a trader's policy. So I am lucky with my insurance, yeah. as in it's all, I have a blanket insurance because of the job. So I do pay extra for, for my cars, Yeah. but it's nowhere near what it should be. Yeah. Uh, the rough cost of something like this to insure it is roughly four thousand pounds a year. It is three or four grand. Yeah. yeah, but I'm a bit older than you. It's a massive cost that you have to take into account with these cars. Yeah. Um, there is other costs involved. Tax. That's not too bad on these. Five uh, five hundred quid a year. Five fifty. I think. I did the six months, and then when I get to the six months, I think. <laughs> what? I bet when you're in the winter, you saw it, don't you? So you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't saw it. Um, so yeah, we have that cost, which is obviously quite big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what other costs are there? A maintenance cost, so you've had a service. How much was your service? So my service was fairly reasonable. It was about 1,500 quid. Okay. My service, but that's its first service. Right. So, um, again, perks of the job. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I actually paid for it, but that's the retail value. That's that's what a normal person would pay. Yeah, that, was that your first major service? That's his first service, yeah, when it was a year old. Okay, because I've just had my third year service. Yeah, which is bigger, which is a bigger service. Which is a big old bill. It's a big bill. We're gonna talk about your car in a minute, because what you just asked me, I'm gonna ask you exactly the same. Tires. Yes. Oh, we've got to remember this, because you've got to replace tyres. Yeah, now, a lot of you would think, well, you shouldn't need to replace tyres at 5,000 miles, and you would be right. But I've been stupid in this car. Along with me in, along around with you, in this. And, yeah. Uh, and I have done two sets of tyres in this car. It's now yeah, you did set. donuts in it. That was just stupid. stupid. That I was ruined a set of tyres. That was stupid. So I'm, Even I thought you were an idiot, and, and I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. PPF? Okay, yeah, how, yeah, how much is your PPF? Uh, again, PPF a supercar, what is it, four grand? It is four grand, four yeah. Four grand-ish. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, God, these costs, it's, it's Windscreen. I've done a windscreen. You've done a windscreen. We can show you the, the, where the windscreen is cracked, which is just there. Yeah. And just uh, over there. Uh, yeah, it's down there. Yeah, yeah. My windscreen cover is quite limited. 
So when a screen goes, I normally have to pay for it, hmm. which is about two grand on this car. Too. Mine, mine with everything included was it was something like two thousand six hundred quid. Yeah. Right now, so now let's talk about yours. Okay, go. You ask me the questions. Right, Tony, okay. question master, go. Gravelwood, go. So, <laughs> what did you pay for your car? My car roughly was circa one hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Okay. Deposit. Fairly big deposit. Fairly big deposit. You don't need to tell people about that. Monthly payment. 1,600. Okay, so this is 400 quid more. But 90 grand more as a car. Now, that's because the balloon payment, because this was a brand new car, the balloon payment is significantly more yes. than your balloon payment. Correct. So that's why the, that's that's the difference. So maintenance. Now yes. You, yeah, now you haven't done as many miles as I've done, but your maintenance cost will probably be more because you've got an older car. So I had the third year service for me. So obviously that was more expensive for, for me. Sure. And what was yours? Two thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. Yeah. To be precise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so it was a yeah. lot more. It would have been a bigger service. Fuel cost to be similar to this. Yeah, like hundred quid to fill it up roughly. Ta tax is the same. Okay, Tony. Yeah. How <laughs> Okay, Tony! Are you well? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. How much do you reckon it costs a year to run a car like this? Because we have finance payments going out, we have everything else. But how much do you reckon it costs in terms of if you were just going to go out and you are going to... Just going to use it, run it for a year? Everything. Okay. So, so two grand a month, 12 months in a year. So that's 25 grand. Plus what the car's, depending on how many miles you do, plus what the car's probably lost. Plus servicing. <clears throat> Plus servicing. Yeah, you've got to remember what this car's actually losing. Yeah, yeah. So that's another figure. Of course. Yeah. Plus fuel, plus the joys of using it, tyres. I think, I bet this car has probably, mine's an extreme because I use them, but I bet this car's cost me 50 or 60 grand. In a year. In a year. When you buy a new car, that's the biggest loss. So next year, because I'll plan on keeping this for a while, it won't be another 50 or 60 grand. No. Because it's always your first year that's your big loss. But And you will probably come out better the longer you keep it because you're paying your more monthly payments Correct. out. Correct. So you could potentially come out fine. So Yeah, so that some of that 50, if I keep it for the two or three years, which I, I plan to, because I'm not really planning on replacing it, it will even itself back out. So then I'll probably, at the moment, all my deposits gone, my monthly payments are gone, it's all gone, gone. I've got to work hard. But in the next year or so, it'll all start to come back. That's what happens. And these potentially might go up in value again, because they've stopped making them, so there's a good chance. For sure. They're, they're, they've definitely steadied out. Um, whether they'll go up, I'm not sure. But there isn't a load of them. I don't think there's 200 of them in the country. So, um, yeah, you might be right. And people love to buy a car that that isn't made anymore and love the fact that you can get in a car and potentially not lose a lot of money. Oh, I like that. Of course. We all like oh, it. Oh, I like that. We've covered costs and everything else. <laughs> I think we'll change subject, shall we? No, no, Tony, that's bleeped out as well. <laughs> <laughs> so he's spoken about costs and everything, yeah? And that's one car. I've got four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm now back in London and that rounds off what has been an epic day driving the Hurricane once again after its service. It really just felt like a new car. It might sound, might sound stupid me saying that, but honestly, it really just felt amazing. And it feels just like the first time I drove one. Such an amazing experience. I had the best day ever, I really did. Fun to just be out with friends, etc. in the sun with all our supercars. I hope this video gave you guys more of an insight to the expense of how much this, these cars cost us to own. Um, they're not cheap, the Lamborghinis, obviously, to own, but we know that. Uh, but what I wanted to do is obviously get Tony involved to share um, him, myself, uh, just what the costs are. And I want you guys to obviously be part of every single part of this channel. And that's one thing which I have been asked a lot. How much does it cost? Well, hopefully you now know. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm shattered, but I've had the best day ever. And I hope it's come across okay on camera as well. So, as always, don't forget to like this video. Leave those comments down below and subscribe. And I will see you all very soon.